Ledoux Topiary Garden in Moncton is celebrating its 50th year as a public garden, and it's been a very busy year for them. And Stetson Miller takes us to their butterfly house and tells us why it's been so popular. They're just so mesmerizing to watch, and there's so many different types. I just think they're really cool. Sarah Myers just can't get enough of the butterflies at Ledoux Gardens. You know, with COVID, it's nice coming to places where you can be outside and stuff, so we decided to get a membership thinking this would be a nice place to come over the summers. And she's not alone. The Moncton based garden has seen a surge of people coming out to see the butterflies over the last year, as many were looking for something to do outside, both during and after the pandemic. It's enormously popular. We have butterflies, caterpillars, and eggs, and visitors come in and are led through the butterfly house by our fabulous docents. All the butterflies here are native to Maryland, and they have about 25 different species that are caught in the gardens nearby. And visitors can see not only butterflies, but also caterpillars and more. You can see the entire life cycle. So you're going to see the tiny little eggs and the caterpillars they grow into. And you might, if you're here at the right time, you get to see a butterfly come out of that chrysalis, which is really amazing. And Ledoux Butterfly House is open until late September or October, and general admission tickets are $15 each. In Moncton, Stetson Miller for WJZ. Wow, and the gardens themselves are beautiful if you've never been. Yeah. The topiaries are really stunning. So Might be a great weekend to do that, too. I think you should get your family oh, there. I'm going to have to get on that. A little picnic. <laughs>